I was Lady Whistledown, this would be the headline. Breaking news. Man mansplaining other man to impress Bane of his existence ends up wet. Colin. Acknowledge his obvious feelings for Penelope. Disparage the idea of marrying her in front of several eligible gentlemen. Absolutely no one. Cressida Calper. I love shoulder pads. Edwina. Insists on spending Kate and Anthony on dates. Also Edwina after figuring out they're in love. Breaking news. Rich man being scammed saves family who scammed him from getting scammed. Anthony. His feelings for Kate. Anthony. His feelings for Kate. Daphne Bridgerton. Are you able to give me children? Duke of Hastings. Wish I could, but I can't. Well can, but won't. Should maybe, but shorn't. I don't know how to flirt, but we can argue. The vibe the Featheringtons bring to the function. Lady Calper, read me what you've written, Cressida. Dan Humphrey if he slayed. This Bridgerton life is so sweet oh. Just wake up, drink tea, read newspaper, take a stroll in the garden, host a ball and look for husband or wife. No stress, no work, no traffic. They be saying it costs zero dollars to be kind, like being a hater ain't free too. The feminism leaving my body after hearing Anthony tell Kate she is the bane of his existence and the object of all his desires. Me after watching Bridgerton. I love Bridgerton because it indulges my ultimate fantasy of becoming super rich by writing and talking bleep about everyone. Debling just being a gentleman and kind to animals. Colin. Too particular. Craziest thing about Bridgerton is they could have all figured out who Lady Whistledown was years ago if they just talked to some poor people. Me. I watch Bridgerton for the plot. The plot. The guy who makes study abroad his whole personality. Daphne. You're in love with Kate. Anthony. No, I'm not. She's aggravating. Daphne. Be honest with your feelings, you moron. Anthony. Okay, I know what to do. Daphne. Finally. Anthony proposes to her sister. Daphne. Bleep, you better be joking. Lady Danbury every time she sees her brother and Violet together. R.I.P. Cressida Calper, you would have loved chat GPT. Today, I bring you much gossip from about the many lands. Have you compromised this young lady? Colin after the carriage. Netflix really said let's make Gossip Girl, but make it in the 19th century. Colin giving Benedict the tea. Benedict, I like your funny words, magic man. When HR calls you and your office bestie for a disciplinary action. I just saw someone say the carriage scene was lacking. Girl, the only thing that scene was lacking was room for Jesus. Anthony Bridgerton before and after finding his emotional support cape. You could never make me hate Penelope. Girl was a successful writer, stacked her bread, married rich even though she had her own money. Husband didn't even play about her even when he was upset. Kept a fresh set of acrylics, baby hairs always laid. That's my girl. When you miss Mama Featherington's only lesson, inserts himself where? Is there more? 
Penelope stopped replying to Colin's letters for four months and he spiraled so bad he changed his clothes, hair, and his entire personality. He's literally just a girl. The Hunt for Lady Whistledown, Eloise. I relate to Penelope Featherington in that I also imagine the voice in my head sounds like Julie Andrews. He has been on a gap year every single season. You so rarely put yourself first. Colin, I'll help you find a suitor. Penelope, finds a suitor. Colin, a man? No. Benedict, have you seen Colin? Mama has the carriage ready. Eloise, I got this. Clears throat. You're right, Ben. Maybe Penelope should have married Lord Debling. Colin pops up from a distance. Colin, what was that? Eloise, found him. Colin Bridgerton said he'd help Penelope Featherington find a husband. And he kept his word. He just happened to hire internally. Me, I watch Bridgerton for the plot. The plot. Anthony Bridgerton whenever Kate is doing anything without him. Colin, did you accept his proposal? Penelope, worst matchmaker ever. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Same energy. Whenever any minor inconvenience happens in my life. The world. Me. Have you watched Bridgerton yet? Any man. Looks at Daphne Bridgerton. Anthony. He literally did this in front of everybody's salad. Original song. Bridgerton soundtrack. Anthony Bridgerton, capital R rake, saw Kate's leg and immediately lost his two remaining brain cells. The devil works hard, but Lady Featherington works harder. Fandom when Anthony is a capital R rake. The fandom when Anthony stands too close to Kate without wearing gloves. Me with another special edition of the book I already own. Jonathan, what was your favorite part about working with Nicola? Her positivity. In conclusion, next thing I knew I was pregnant. Me, I love Bridgerton so much. I'm obsessed with all the characters. All the characters. Fine, I'll admit it. I'm a simp for a man named Simon. I mean, I'm not a bleep, but who knows? <laughs>